Universal G code sender is it reads all the commands in here tell you millimeters per whatever. You can check one thing and it changes it from millimeters to inches. Most stepper motors run at 1.8 degrees per step. So there's 200 steps for one revolution of the motor. In here I've got the resolution set to half of a step, which means it takes 400 half steps to go one revolution. <laughs> In the software here, I had to set it to 4,000 steps equals one, and it says millimeter, but um, it means one inch. A default feed rate of 20 inches per minute, and a seek rate of 35 inches per minute. An acceleration of two inches per second squared. Um, and that gives it just a little bit of an acceleration. I could probably move that to one. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. That said, everything seems to be, it sounds really smooth. So here, here's X, or sorry, here's the Y axis. And that knocking, by the way, is the fact I don't have all this welded in this bearings knocking around a little bit. So we'll put that back where it was, and then X. That looks fantastic. I downloaded a, a file from Shaboko, <laughs> and uh, it's their Hello World. So I'm just gonna hit the button and see what happens. The emergency reset's right here, so I may have to grab that. And automatically it's killing me, I think. No, that might have been the Z-axis getting into position. Yep, gonna have to kill it. Ah, uh, that sucks. Back in the uh, science lab. Yesterday didn't work out so good. Um, I think I burnt up a driver, a little stepper motor driver, which is cool. I mean, I knew I would, and they're cheap enough to replace. I have a feeling this thing is just not going to drive this system. They get really hot. I need to get an enclosure with a fan. I don't know. Whatever. There's not much invested in this. It was more to just experiment and learn. But uh, I made a little G code that basically sends this whole thing. So this goes positive an inch, that goes positive an inch, and then they turn around. But one is at uh, the seek rate, one is at the feed rate. So I haven't tried this yet. For some reason, um, when I'm writing the G code, there's a code G20 and G21. G20 is for inches, G21 is for millimeters. And for some reason, if I set it to inches, it wants to go in millimeters. If I set it to millimeters, it wants to go to inches. But then when I get back into the machine control, it's just the opposite. So there's obviously something that I don't understand in this, or there's a setting that I don't have. If anybody out there knows that can help me out, I would greatly appreciate it. This goes forward and then back at two different speeds. Sweet. <laughs> that's, that's what I wanted. I suppose uh, we can get a little more sophisticated. So we'll send it and I've got my finger ready to hit the eject button. <laughs> There was a lot of squeaking. There's obviously some pinch point here I gotta work out. I think the feed rates are off as well. That file has its own feed rate. And actually, no, this thing is obviously overheated because yeah, it's saying it's still active, but the machine's not moving. So we'll just hit the old reset button here, the cancel button over here, unplug everything. <laughs> I think we're done for the night. <laughs> anyway, we got it to do one little thing that we wanted to. 
Uh, it's going to take a little configuration to get this thing all sorted out. And uh, hopefully that we don't blow too many of these things up in the meantime. So we'll cut it off there. Don't let me go.